Greetings VCE psychologists. This clip has four key objectives. So first of all, we're going to look at the functionality of the central nervous system. Second of all, we'll look at the functionality and the composition of the peripheral nervous system. Thirdly, we'll talk about the interdependence of the two major divisions of the nervous system. And then finally, we'll contrast the, these two divisions in broad terms. So first of all, the functionality of the central nervous system, we can look at two key functions. First of all, the central nervous system has a job to organise and process information it receives from the environment. Some of this information is from the internal environment via the autonomic nervous system, so getting feedback from the digestive system, the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, the immune system, etc. And some of this information will come from the external environment via the somatic nervous system in terms of our sensory organs. So um, receiving information in terms of light, sound, tactile information in terms of touch and pain, etc. Second key function is to react to this information by triggering a response or a change. So once the brain receives information from the various physiological systems I talked about before. It'll trigger a necessary change in uh, heart rate, in terms of hormonal secretions, in terms of the immune response, etc. In terms of the key functioning of the per peripheral nervous system, again, two key functions. So the peripheral nervous system's job is to basically gather this sensory information via either the somatic um, via the sensory organs or the autonomic via the visceral muscles and then to basically convey that information to the central nervous system where it will be processed. The second key function is to execute the commands that are initiated by the central nervous system by um, changing activity in the effectors, the muscles, the glands, etc. So in terms of, of the third objective of this video, we need to be mindful of the interdependence of the two major divisions. So the central nervous system's job is to activate a response. It's the peripheral nervous system's job to execute that change. The peripheral nervous system needs to detect sensory information and the central nervous system needs to process it. So the two major divisions are always working together, um, often autonomously, in order to maintain our survival and in order for us to maintain a conscious experience in our everyday world. So let's talk about some of the differences, the key differences in broad terms between the two major divisions. So in terms of the composition, we've got the central nervous system, which is made up of your brain and your spinal cord, and your peripheral nervous system, peripheral meaning outside of, is all the nerves outside of the brain and the spinal cord. In terms of the encasings of the two divisions, well, your central nervous system, the neurons are well protected by a thick bone in the skull for the brain's neurons and the spine um, for your spinal cord. In terms of your peripheral nervous system, well, the neurons are vulnerable because they're not protected by bone. The neurons lie on top of muscles, glands, etc., in order to trigger changes. In terms of the length of the axons, well, in your brain, We've got these relatively short fibres um, which basically conduct these very short nerve impulses rel in relative terms, whereas in your peripheral nervous system the axons are longer. So for instance on this image here we've got a long axon that go reaches all the way out from um, the actual um, spinal cord all the way to the fingertips in order to conduct a, a motor signal, an efferent signal, and we've also got a um, the other member of the pair, a, a sensory axon that conveys information all the way from the, from the hand back to the spinal cord.